Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive. We're playing Madden 21. Charge mm. Boys. Mm. We're fighting the Charge Boys. We're charging hard, dude. We're going to charge in their bedrooms and take their... Charging their credit cards. And Ooh, I like that. Getting them credit cards. Yeah, dude. Credit cards. No. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody heard that. That's fine. Yeah. Uh Jonas. Yes, sir. Boom. Charge it. Yeah, dude. That guy has a mustache. What's your you credit card number, Jonas? And the three secure three uh, digit four security zero code. Three seven. Hold on, hold on. Let me write this down. Four zero three seven. Okay. Uh nine two. Okay, nine two seven. Seven. Nope. That's not it. Nope. It's not even close. The first four numbers were exactly correct. What? <laughs> You better be kidding, guy. Don't be giving out. How are they gonna? How are they gonna guess the other twelve numbers, well, even if it is correct? You know, some trial and error. The first four numbers are just the bank code. I know. Yeah. yeah, it's just the way they can tell. Like apparently, like uh, Mastercard, Visa, and whatever other cards that are out there, they have like very similar numbers for like the first couple. I think it is. Uh, yeah, Mastercard start with five, Visa's four, yeah. and start with like zero or yeah. something. But like yeah. all the other ones have four fours, like it's like four 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 four. American Express is like it's the same, it's something different. It's like five three. I don't know. It's dumb, dude. Yeah, I had a I had a brother that worked at uh like MBNA or something. He he uh he told me about that. I was like, yeah, yeah that's crazy, bro. It's crazy. You're like, I'm glad I have that knowledge that I'll never use. Yeah. What was your uh, what was your favorite subject in school? Like what kind of math? All. Like, how how far did you? Go? I took calculus in my senior year. Did you really? Yeah, I was in. I was in. Uh, like, I think I took. I think I took pre-algebra in seventh grade, mm -hmm. algebra one in eighth grade, and then I took algebra two, geometry, trigonometry, and calculus in high school. That's absolutely nuts to me. <laughs> it's like it, it, it just goes further to show like the night and day yin and yang of like who we are. Because right. I of honors English. I to even honors English. Yeah. Like I like I probably could have been if I would have pushed, but I was like I'm good in college prep. Like I don't need to go to the extra mile in English. But for I was in the highest math we could take in school for sure. It's like I loved English so much, but you want to know what, Jonas? I I absolutely hate reading. Absolutely, I've always hated reading. I hated doing reading assignments. I did. I love doing a book report. You make me write a report on something. Heck yeah, I'll do a report. I don't mind doing a research. I love it, but I don't. Yeah, I actually read. don't mind writing papers either. No, nah, dude. Like I remember, and the, and the thing is, is, like when I discovered I hated reading was like when I was told to read like the Time Machine or the Hobbit or maybe Yeah, I hate reading things Maniac I don't want to read, dude. I don't like reading fiction books. I didn't want to read uh, The Outsiders or Maniac McGee. Yeah, you know, that's really nice true. Stuff. I don't like reading fiction very much either. No, if I read a book, it's more like a book that's gonna like be like a help, a self help type of like realize something about yourself book. Or... Something that is more beneficial than just a good story. Right. Because yeah. I'll watch a movie, dude. If I want to. Exactly. Wanna, if I story, and honestly, for the most part, I'd rather watch a. a a visual depiction of the uh, the knowledge I could get. I feel like yeah. I, can get the I same have a knowledge. friend who loves to read. She reads constantly because she's like she's like I just have always like I just like reading and like taking myself to that place. Like and I'm like why don't you just watch a movie? And she's like I don't know. I just always liked reading better. And I'm like I actually admire that about you. I admire people who like to read because it's like a forgotten thing. Like kids nowadays don't read books, dude. What's the? I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna be. I'm, ooh, I hate. I want to have this conversation. I just want to talk about our favorite subject because I will talk down reading, and then people are gonna be like, "Dynamite!" Why are you telling the kids not to read? Because it's a waste of freaking time. Well, what's That's funny what is I read constantly. Though. I know. You I read do. tons of articles online. I, I know, read comments I on Reddit. I read. I don't get it. Yeah, and like you're like, well, why don't you just watch the video? And I'm it's like, shorter. Dude, the video is. I read the story faster than the stupid video. Will no, tell me I it's don't shorter. Wanna. I mean, yeah, I get you. Yeah. There, yeah. there is a lot of like pomp and pomp and circumstance that goes into a video, but yeah. I'm more entertained by that. Because like a lot of times, I can skim an article, get what I want from it, and it takes me like a minute. 
I don't know, man. I find that when I'm reading something, like especially in long form, that my mind wanders. Yeah, that definitely happens. My mind wanders. But you're like one of those people that will watch a television show and have subtitles on. Yes. That ish right there is the most infuriating thing in the world to me. <laughs> I've seriously, I've, I've actually stopped dating a girl because she did that. Wow. I'm 100% bad. honest to God the truth. You're like, we can't be compatible forever. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, look, she wasn't, like, the best anyway, but I was just like, why are why sub? I can't, because if the subtitles are on, guess what? I'm going to read the subtitles. Then I can't Who's watch the show. Is that, dude? You, you can't watch, watch the show if the sub. What is the point of the subtitles? I can watch them talking. The people are talking, speaking words. But they always, they talk like it's always jumbled and ish, dude. What are you, what are you, dyslexic? I mean, that's obviously no, Excuse it. me? I don't know, dude. So, you know what I mean? Like, yes. what, you can't understand English? It's, dude, sometimes. It's English. Yeah, but, but English is hard, bro. No, you know that? God. No, that means that you have attention in the sef- that's a deficit. Probably. That's what that means. <clears throat> that means you have an attention deficit. If... Like, you're listening to somebody talk and they start speaking like a, a god dang uh, Peanuts mom. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're speaking the English language. Yeah, dude. Sometimes the volume's messed up. I don't know, bro. I don't like loud things. No, that's that's not a good excuse. I don't like loud things. It's either. like, I don't like cars because, you know, sometimes you got to put gas in them. I'm like, what? Oh, what? I didn't score. I wasn't paying attention because we were, we were talking about my deficits. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I just don't. I've never understood. Yeah, dude, that's how I roll, man. I've never understood because it's like you're, if you put the, you you can only look at so much at a time, dude. Our human brains can only do one thing at a time. People who say they multitask, guess what? You can't. Multitasking is impossible. But we can quickly shift between two things at a time. But multitasking is impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Some people can switch between two things at a time faster than others, but multitasking not a thing. So if I'm reading, then no, I can't look at the pictures on the screen. And I want to look at the pictures, but you know what? We can look at the pictures and talk because we do that every day. So obviously we train right that. Right now I'm playing a game and talking. You're switching between the two. I'm playing right now. You're switching words. between the two, though. But that's because we uh, see, and that's another thing is that our motor skills we use those to a point. It took us time. There was a point in time where we had to work on our motor skills to develop them enough where we could do things without while talking. But like talking and two bu- chewing bubble gum, yeah, dude. Yeah, you got to think about talking. So yeah, you can concentrate on the other one, and then the other one is just like move your fingers or move your stomach at the same time. Isn't that? <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna tell you right now. If you look into it, psychology, psychology professor 101, they will tell you that multitasking is impossible. Okay. You can I mean, just I see you, what you're saying. You can switch you, yeah, between. Yeah, you can things. be switch. You can you can task switch very fast. Yes. But you can't. And that is that is why people have difficulty. A lot of people have difficulty talking and playing a video game at the same time, or at least up to the up to the level of where they would if they weren't talking, because you can't do two things at well, the same time. Well, yeah, there's time. a lot of people that have trouble task switching. Like, yeah, it's, it's like stopping one task and starting another. But once you develop that ability to switch between those two tasks, then that's a different story. Yes. 100%. Yeah, I feel you, dude. So, yeah, I hated math in school. Hated math. Hate I love subtitles. It, I love You know what I English. think I like about math is it was very black and white, dude. There's no gray area with math. Yeah, but dude. There's one way to do it. Everyone does it the same way. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's funny because, like, all the stuff I remember, like, just, like, absolutely, like, losing my mind over an algebra class. And I hated algebra so much, dude. Dude, I hated it. All those formulas, I've not used any of them, but like the most remedial and basic in my adult life. I use algebra sometimes. You, to, I mean, to like I said, stuff out. Yeah. you use it, but you're not using like the complex algebra. No, I have God used knows you ain't used calculus. Yeah, I mean, no, dude, it was fun though. It was like one problem with taking an entire piece of notebook paper. Nah, fam. I'm good. Nice, dude. It's like I'm you feel good. accomplished when you're done with that. Nah, I feel accomplished once I've created a great piece of liter- literary artwork. 
Yeah, handed dude. it in to the teacher and then threw that dish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never to be seen. Again. And then she told you that your grammar sucked and you're like, excuse me? <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> oh, like, man, man. You're always like, man, Dynamite, you're very, very good at this English stuff. I was like, I guess. Your dude. nomenclature is impeccable. Yeah, like, wow. What, what made you like this? I'm what like, made you like this? You're very well Why are you like this? Is what why they constantly you? ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Dynamite, why are you like this? <laughs> I heard that all the time. To this day, I still get your very well spoken. I'm like, I guess, dude. I don't know. Yeah, dude. I mean, just as a general human being, you, you speak very eloquently. You I try. Your words wisely. I try. And some people, I've been. So I've been either called well spoken or I've been called. Uh, a pretentious a hole. Yeah, because it's like it's like oh, you're just showing off your big words. I, 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 this is the way I talk. I can't help myself. What do you want me to do? Why don't you just talk normal? I am talking normal. Yes. Yes, I I say what I mean because I want to mean what I say. So yes, I use the words that me, that mean what I'm saying. Yeah. Because I want to say well, what the problem, I mean. The problem isn't the words you're using. It's the problem that the people who you're talking to aren't smart enough to know the definition of the words that you're using. Mm -hmm. Freaking problem. Well, right, exactly. Like, it's get their, out your god dang thesaurus. It's their problem. <laughs> like, completely honest, like sometimes, like I'm pr I'm a pretty educated person. Sometimes you use words that I don't even know what they mean. Yeah. Occasion, I mean, not like it's very rarely. Like I know the other day when you were talking to one of our friends about what they do with people uh, and how they speak, you were using some words and I knew he had no idea what you were talking about. Who was this? <laughs> Uh, what word was it that you used? Uh, esoteric. Oh, esoteric. Yeah. I was like, you get into these freaking esoteric. <laughs> I told him to look it up. <laughs> but but there's, the thing is, is that I could say esoteric or I could try to, in the conversation, be like, all right, you talk in very niche terms that many Only people. Only people that who, know about that know yeah, about. Yeah. Or I could just say you speak very esoterically. Right. Absolutely. But see, but I'm also the type of person, like, I mean, I knew what that was. Yeah. But if someone uses a word that I don't know or I'm confused, I always look it up. Oh, dude, I oh, love every, it. That's every my, single time. That's my favorite thing to read. Uh, somebody, some, what did somebody say today I'll to read me? that um, all day, definitions. I can't even think of the, the word that somebody, somebody actually used a word today. I messaged somebody and they, what word was it? It was, um. Clandestine. It was, uh, mm. it meant uh, to hold in high regard or respect. Rev reverently? Rever reverent? Reverent. Was that what it was? No, that, that's I don't know. What reverence means. Like. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but I think they said reverently or something, and okay. I was like, "Fair enough." I was like, "Oh, that's a different way to use." So I just Fair wanted enough. to make. So a lot of times I question myself, but I do know what it means. I'm mm -hmm. just like, "Let me make sure I'm using that word properly." Dude, I love it when I'll pull a word out of my ass that I'm not even sure, and then I'm like, "I use that right," and then I will look it up, and I'm like, "I use that is yeah. right." Oh, dude, that's what I do. That that's that's what it is, though. It's like I. It's like you know it. It's in there, but you use it so infrequently. <laughs> yeah. That and it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 just, yeah, yeah, and then you're like, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, that is what it was, you know? It's yeah. like, I'm yeah. telling you right now at home, watching this video is that you need to expand your vocabulary because it makes you look smart, dude. It is. Yeah. I've, uh, every job I've ever been hired for is I've got hired because I was well spoken in the interview. Yeah. Um, don't work so much with like girls who are just like, I want somebody who I can connect to and who, you know, speaks like me. I don't, you yeah, know, girls don't like you, make them feel stupid. <laughs> Stop being dumb. <laughs> um, but like, I don't mean that. Don't stop being dumb, but get good. But like, uh, yeah, dude, well, I do the same thing. Like, I don't use, I, I, I pick my words carefully because, like, sometimes, like, you know, you can the way you say words or the combination of words you use can come across and be humorous or be like come across with more impact or like whatever. Like, I know sometimes you look at me like, why the hell did you say it? That because <laughs> I say things so stupidly. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, it means it, right? <laughs> I love, uh, like, and one of, honestly, one of the most attractive things for me is uh, what we were talking about. Girl the vocabulary? Uh, being a, a sapo sexual. Yeah, oh yeah, dude, smarts, dude. So it's like when a young lady can uh, 
introduce something that I'm not even familiar with. Wow. Oh wow, they got it. They yeah, did. dude. Well, I just like if I'm if I'm hanging out with somebody and you're like, and I'm like, oh, she's cute or whatever, or she's okay. But then all of a sudden she starts dropping knowledge or she's super passionate about something and knows a lot about certain subjects. I'm just like, man, she's cute. She's real cute. <laughs> like it's like especially words, man. Mm-hmm. I've had I've had girls use words on me. I'm like, oh. Wow, you just made my boxers dissolve with that word, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> you just use a five dollar word around me. Ooh, she's like, I got that one at KFC. Yeah, one of the longest relationships I ever had was with a young lady who had her master's in psychology, and she was just a very intelligent person, dude, just in general, and I loved it. Very, very, very attracted to smarts. Yeah, dude. I, I well, it's like because I like to talk, and like, man, if I if I'm talking to you and I'm talking and you don't have anything to say or add or like, or you don't have to dumb it down. Yeah, like if I have to dumb it Ooh. down, or even if I don't dumb it down, but you just are just like, yeah, like, I'm like I'm good, dude. I can't, <laughs> I can't be the only one talking, and I talk a lot, so. <laughs> I'm fine with her not talking so much, but I don't want to have to dumb it down for you. I don't want to have to explain everything. Why use many words when one word Word does trick? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, dude, I don't want to date Kevin. I don't. I don't want to date Kevin. I don't. (laughs) I don't. Yeah, dude. Simply, I want to date. If anything, I want to date Dwight. You got me? You feel me? (laughs) Does that make sense? Yeah, exactly. I'd rather date Dwight than Kevin. Yeah, I feel you. I don't want to date Dwight, any. Dwight <laughs> yeah, nice. That's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, hit that notification bell. It'll ring when we do stuff for Jonas. We are out.